When a strip of zinc metal is immersed in an aqueous copper 2 sulfate solution, electrons are transferred from zinc to the copper 2 ions. Copper metal deposits on the zinc strip and collects at the bottom of the flask. Zinc atoms are oxidized to zinc 2 ions, which enter the solution. This spontaneous oxidation reduction reaction is summarized in the chemical equation shown. The spontaneous copper zinc oxidation reduction reaction can be made to yield useful electrical work by incorporating it in a voltaic cell. The zinc electrode is immersed in a solution of zinc sulfate. The copper electrode is immersed in a solution of copper 2 sulfate. No current flows through the light bulb because the electrical circuit is not complete. To complete the electrical circuit, we add a tubular bridge filled with aqueous sodium sulfate solution with a porous plug on each end. We now have a complete circuit and current flows. When we replace the light bulb with a voltmeter, we find that the cell has a potential or voltage of 1.1 volts. The copper electrode is the positive electrode and the zinc electrode is the negative electrode. As the cell reaction proceeds, zinc atoms of the zinc electrode lose electrons and move into the solution as zinc ions. At the same time, copper two ions acquire electrons at the copper electrode and form copper metal. The reaction in the left-hand compartment is oxidation of zinc. The electrode at which oxidation occurs is called the anode. The reaction in the right-hand compartment is reduction of copper. The electrode at which reduction occurs is called the cathode. Electrons flow from the anode to the cathode through the external circuit. To maintain electrical neutrality in the two cell compartments, ions must move through the salt bridge. In summary, remember that in a voltaic cell, the anode at which oxidation occurs is the negative electrode. The cathode at which reduction occurs is the positive electrode. Electrons flow through the external circuit from anode to cathode.